Good evening once again, and thank you for joining us for the news headlines at 10 here on NBC. I'm Ferdinand Mwalane. President Yvgep Nyapuhamba has expressed shock and profound sadness about the untimely death of Colonel John Otto Nankuvu, who died at his home on Tuesday. The head of state, who is in London attending the Commonwealth Business Council Africa Business Forum, said in a letter of condolence to the bereaved family that Nankudu would be remembered with profound fondness for his steady determination and his unallied commitment to the struggle for freedom and independence of Namibia. Namibia will join other African countries in celebrating Africa Public Service Day tomorrow. The main event will be held at Kidman Swap in the Karas region. Speaking to NBC News and Current Affairs, Prime Minister Nasangula urged public servants to use the day as a turning point in shaping the country's public service towards efficiency. The public service day brings public servants together to reflect on the values of the country's public service and see how to improve on the quality of services it delivers to the public. The Zoho Party Youth League is overwhelmed about the re-election of ANC Youth League President Julius Malema. SPYL Secretary Dr. Elia Ngurare, who got an opportunity to address the 24th Congress of the ANC Youth League, said the Congress took progressive resolutions, one being that of ensuring that youth empowerment and development take center stage among African governments. In international news, Syrian Foreign Minister Walid Mualem has attacked the European Union for extending sanctions against his country. The EU is imposing a travel ban on four military-linked entities and seven individuals implicated in the suppression of protesters in Syria. The EU first imposed sanctions on President Bashar al-Assad on the 23rd of May. The President's promise earlier this week of reforms did little to placate his opponents. In sports news, the national rugby side last night arrived from Romania where it participated in the IRB Nations Cup. Namibia, as defending champions, started this year's competition on a wrong footing with defeats against the host nation and Georgia, managing only one win over Portugal. Those were the stories that made headlines today. Enjoy the rest of the evening's viewing here on NBC. Take care.